In this video, we're going to talk about a very important rule in the theory of probability. It's called the addition rule. So addition rule. So before we talk about the addition rule, there's a very, very brief definition that we need. So we say two events. So two events are, and it's a funny word, mutually exclusive. So mutually exclusive. Now, if you don't like this word, um, there is another word you can use for mutually exclusive. It's called disjoint. I prefer that one. So disjoint. So two events are mutually exclusive or disjoint if, well, it's pretty simple, if they cannot occur together. So if they cannot occur together. So two events are disjoint or mutually exclusive if they cannot occur together. Okay, so now for the addition rule. Okay, so the addition rule works as follows. The key word is or. Okay, so you have the probability of A or B. So if you see the word or, you know it's an addition rule problem. Okay, so you, this is the probability of A happening or B happening. Now, in mathematics, or is different uh, from or in English. So like if someone asks you, do you want cheese on your Whopper, you say yes or no. In math, um, you can say yes, no, or yes, no. So in other words, this is A, B, or both. So or in mathematics is inclusive. It means A, B, or both, okay? So or in mathematics means one or the other or both. So if we wanted to find out the probability of A or B, it's the probability of A plus the probability of B. However, we use probabilities in the real world, right? So we don't want the OR to include both. We want it to be A or B, but we don't want it to be both. So what we do is we subtract the probability of them both happening. Okay, that's the idea because we want this or to be like the or in English. Again, or in mathematics is one or the other or both. We want it to be just one or the other, so we have to subtract the probability of both of them happening. And why does this definition come into play? Well, if A and B are disjoint, so if A, B are disjoint, Well, that means they can't occur together, right? So the probability of A and B, well, if A and B are disjoint, they can't occur together. So the probability of A and B happening at the same time, well, that's impossible. So that's zero. So this part of the formula uh, goes away. So this formula always works, okay, whenever you have an or in the problem. However, um, generally when you have a table, like there's a, there's a table in the problem, you, you avoid the formula. So just a tip, uh, this is best to use, best to use when you don't have a table. So you don't have a table. If you have a table, um, there's an easier way to do problems. You can avoid the formula. You can use some tricks. Let's go ahead and do uh, just one simple example of the formula just so you see uh, how, how it works. So EX means example. And let's say Theo will roll a six-sided die. So being really careful here. Remember, probabilities uh, describe the future. So if I say Theo rolls a six-sided die, I'm, I'm just being a little bit lazy. So once the die is rolled, there is no probability. So technically, we're supposed to say Theo will roll a six-sided die. Let's find the probability that he sees a six or um, an odd number. Okay, so using the formula, this would be p of 6, so p of 6, plus, then you would have uh, p of odd, right, that's your b, just using the formula. So it's p of the first one plus p of the second one, then minus, and then you and them, right, so it'd be p of 6 and odd. So just using the formula, you have P of A or B is P of A plus P of B minus P of A and B. So here it's P of 6 plus P of odd 
minus p of 6 and odd. So the probability of rolling a 6, well, it's a fraction. It's the number of ways to roll a 6 on a 6-sided die. There's only one dot, only one side that has a 6, 6 dots. So there's one way to roll a 6, 6 ways to roll the die, plus odd numbers. So let's see, the odd numbers be on a 6-sided die are 1, 3, and 5. So there are three ways to roll an odd number, six ways to roll the die, right? One, three, and five are the odd numbers. And if you roll a single die, is it possible to roll a six and an odd number? No, no, it is not, right? It's impossible, so that's zero. So this is an example of two events that are disjoint, right? You cannot roll a single die and get a six and an odd number, right? These are disjoint events. They cannot occur together, disjoint, good stuff. So 1 over 6 plus 3 over 6 is 4 over 6. And so that's 2 thirds. And that's it. So this video was just hopefully a really quick, quick introduction to the um, addition rule. And again, it's best to use this when you don't have a table. If you have a table, um, there's an easier way to do all of these problems. That's it.